and these rallies, there's so much, I'm sorry, these peaceful protests, this is, they're, they're half political rally and half, I mean, stand-up comedy routine. And the president is so good at, at, you know, people always say, Mark, I love your show because you're entertaining and informative. You keep me up to date, but you make me laugh. Basically, the president is the same exact way. He gets out there and he tells you the issues and he's very, very, uh, you know, he's very, very um, excited to explain what's going on and why we need to keep America great and how we do that. And then he's good for a couple laughs. And one of the things I love is when I, because for now months, I've been calling uh, Joe Biden the worst candidate in presidential history. And finally, at the rally in Fayetteville, North Carolina, uh, the president jumps up and basically mimics, rips my line right off, which I'm, I'm happy to give him, uh, de declaring that Joe Biden truly is the worst ever. He is the worst candidate in the history of presidential politics. If I lose to him, I don't know what I'm going to do. I will never speak to you again. You'll never see me again. And he's, he's just like, and he's, and he's saying what everybody knows and what everybody feels in their heart of hearts. Joe Biden is the worst candidate in history. How could you lose to Joe Biden? It's not even, you know, it's not even bad enough. Like if you lose, the country will be overrun by socialism and America will be wiped off the face of the earth as we know it. That, like that's bad enough. But then also poor Donald Trump, he's got to walk around knowing he lost to somebody as bad as Joe Biden. Can't make that happen. Can't make that happen. And then he talked about the debates which are coming up. And you know, the debates, the debates are a big deal for Joe Biden. It will be the make or break moment for Joe Biden. Is he gonna say something stupid? Is he gonna is he gonna kill 200 million people like he did the other day, which we'll play for you here in just a minute? What's what Joe Biden are we gonna get? Are we gonna get the good Joe Biden that came out and did not stumble through his nomination acceptance speech? Or are we gonna get the regular Joe Biden that talks about the ladies' underwear department and um, and you know, can't remember you you know, the declaration of, you know, the thing. Is, is that to Joe Biden we're going to get? And Donald Trump thinks he knows which one's going to show up. They give him a big fat shot in the ass and he comes out. <laughs> and for two hours, he's better than ever before. You know? Problem is, what happens after that? Yeah, what happens after that? Donald Trump's like, I think that's what's going to happen. They're going to give him a big shot in the you know where and he's going to be fine. We're going to ask for a drug test. We are. I'd like to have a drug test. Both of us. I'll take it. He'll take it. <laughs> which, which, I mean, you know what? We've gotten to the point now. We've gotten to the point now where it wouldn't shock me if the presidential candidates were supposed to take a drug test before their debate. I'm a little shocked it's not Barack Obama and Bill Clinton and George Bush because we know all those guys did drugs. It's now, it's now Donald Trump and Joe Biden. And the drugs we're looking for are like massive copious amounts of adrenaline. I don't, I don't even know what you would give them. Would you give them a shot of adrenaline? That you do in the heart, right? I, I saw Pulp Fiction. You don't give adrenaline in the in the backside. I think uh, what was it? it was vitamin B12. You give him a vitamin B12 shot in his in his butt, but uh, the adrenaline has to go right through the you know it's got to go right through the breastplate because Mrs. Mia Wallace can't die. Otherwise, John Travolta would be a grease spot.